Whoa! Yeah, sick. Yo, is this a line? Kind of. Look at this. Well, it's been a little while since I first introduced my enduro bike to you guys, the Transition Patrol, and I haven't made any videos since, and I apologize for that. But today, I'm going out to the North Shore, Mount Frome, with my friend Aiden, on a nice cloudy, foggy day. I have been making a few tweaks to this bike, and you may notice something looks different here, namely this new link. This is the Cascade Components Patrol LT Link. Now, in the name of transparency, they did give me this link for free so that I could show you guys and ride it on my own bike. So thank you, Cascade Components. Now, what does this link actually do? So this link is gonna give a bit more progression to the suspension, which I really like, especially since I've got a coil shock on there. And coil shocks are inherently more linear, and the original linkage is more linear, which I don't care for so much. The progression increases from 11% to 24% with this link. It even adds travel from 160 millimeters of travel to 168 millimeters of travel on this bike. All of which are very good things in my opinion. For those who don't know, more progressive suspension means it's harder to bottom out. So this link does add some weight though, it is half a pound heavier, so my bike is now running at 37.9 pounds in total, so yeah, it's a bit of a heavy bike. Also, you'll see I put on this STFU thing on the back end, so I'm hoping that'll make the bike a little bit quieter, since I felt it was a little bit noisy, so. So with all that done up on this bike, and of course the Marzocchi suspension that they provided for me for this bike, and the light bicycle carbon wheels with the Onyx hubs that was also provided me for this bike, this bike should be running super well, and we're gonna have to put some miles onto this bike. So uh, why don't we take this for a ride? We're starting all the way at the top of Mount Frome, warming up on 7th Secret. I would not really recommend this as your warm-up trail, but I mean, it does get your blood flowing. A little bit wet. I'm gonna try that today. <laughs> Way too sketchy. Yeah, that's a, that's a good trip. Getting a bit rough on my hands. I don't think I did enough mountain biking this year. Hands were not ready for this. Yeah, let's do oil can. Yeah, okay. Put out the lower oil can. I've only ridden lower oil can once, and it was great. 
this trail gives you the chance at some higher speeds in some places, and still gets a little rough and gnarly. And so far, with this new link on the bike, it's feeling really solid. All right. Yeah. I also wanted to update you guys on how I'm feeling right now with my whole concussion. And you know what? I'm doing so much better right now. My concussion specialist is saying that I'm doing really good. You know, we're, we're getting that blood flow back in my head, back in my neck. My neck does still need some work though, but I'm feeling really good out on mountain bike rides like I am today. And I'm more comfortable riding gnarlier stuff. Like I'm gonna be riding double black stuff now. Like after this trail, we're gonna go to a double black trail called Boundary, Man. which is gonna be really fun. I'm not used to the jank enough. I've gotten too used to, to like flow your stuff. What's going on here? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Whoa. Oh, I just gotta take a break. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I'm not used to the jank enough. Like I really am so out of that. Yeah. The bike's feeling good. I think I can uh, tell this thing is doing good for me though, to yeah. be honest. Like, cause like also what it's supposed to do is when you like kind of like land, yeah. it's a little bit less harsh. Like it has better small bump sensitivity. Yeah. So I really like that and I think I can kind of tell. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay, what is that sound? So about that sound, after today's ride, I was examining my bike and shocked to see what that sound was about. It turns out it was my coil rubbing against the shock. Now that's pretty weird because I've never had that happen before. I have the same shock on my Maiden and no issues there. So I think the coil just wasn't tightened quite enough. I think that's what it was. But unfortunately I didn't find that out until after today's ride. So you're going to hear it a little bit more today. Whoa. Wait. Oh. Yeah, I can tell my fitness is not a bit low. Yeah, that's how much hot am I at? Yeah, that was so jank. Yeah, I'm just like out of shape, man. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Let's see. Oh, is this the end? Yeah. Oh, where'd we go? So after oil can, we need to find our way to Boundary. And as I'm about to find out, it is one of the better trails on this mountain, in my opinion. Yeah, that was that was good fun. Yeah. Some of that, some of that jank, like some of those roots. Normally, I might be like more afraid of, but I was tackling them pretty well. Yeah. Are you guys so far feeling pretty sick? The whole bike's feeling good. Feels quieter than before. So I'm pretty stoked. We're going to hit boundary. I've never ridden boundary before, so Aiden's going to lead me into it. Ready to go. Yeah. Whoa, yeah, sick. Yo, is this a line? Kind of. Whoa, yo, this is pretty sick. Look at this. Right on. That's pretty cool. Huh. 
a bit jank, but you know what? Whoa! <laughs> this is awesome! Yo! Oh, dude, that's pretty it's gnarly stuff. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Come on. Oh. Grab the tree and go. Come on. Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's pretty techy. That was good. That was good though. Like even in like the wet, like it was totally doable. Yeah. Let's do it. More boundary. Whoa, oh, okay, I fell off, I'm, I fell off of that thing. That's okay. Wow, look at this. Okay, this is freaking sketch, dude. Whoa. Whoa, okay, let's do this. That is hilarious. Wow. Nose bonk. I love that. That's pretty sick, man. Okay, okay. <laughs> Over here. Yo! <laughs> Do it. Yo! Okay. <laughs> that was almost scared of like sliding off at the last second. I know, yeah. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Ah, sweet. Well, you guys, I am so stoked on the way my bike is feeling. It is awesome. And I'm really feeling good on some of this steeper, techier stuff. I'm feeling really in control. I'm feeling like I can be really aggressive with this bike. I think I really appreciate the whole 64 degree head angle that this thing's got. It's working really well for me. And you know what? I really like the way the Cascade Components Link is performing better than the stock link. I do kind of feel a little bit better small bump sensitivity. I'm not sure that I noticed the the eight millimeters more of travel. I mean, it's not too much, but yeah, I mean, I, I didn't bottom out the rear as far as I know. I definitely like the whole leverage curve that it gives you. So I'm definitely gonna wanna keep this Cascade Components link on my bike for good now, cause it definitely improves the ride. Was that part of boundary too? No, that's a uh, digger. digger yeah. Sick, that was good. Yes! 
Oh, look at this. Yo. So sick. So good. Super fun way to finish too, like that was awesome. Especially riding like the new stuff, like Boundary is a really good trail. Well, that was a ton of fun, you guys. I'm so happy with my bike. I think it looks awesome with this Silver Link too. yet. I was a bit worried that it might not work, but you know what? The Silver Link looks great. I can't wait to go on more adventures with this bike, you guys. I got more in store, so I hope you guys will subscribe. Give a like if you enjoyed this video. And tell me in the comments where you think I should go with this bike next. I gotta give a big shout out to my favorite sponsors, which are my patrons. They support me so well. If you guys are interested in extended cuts or really helping out my channel, go check out my Patreon page. Thanks everyone. See you guys next time.